now, almost as long ago, there was a popular TV show. Uh, it was broadcast from a studio in Cumbria, the uh, center of the uh, TV universe in 1974, uh, presented by a man called Derek Beatty, who was a grey haired, Derek Beatty even, who was a grey haired Adonis, apparently. And, uh, the organizing committee have asked me to fill his shoes for a special celebrity edition of Mr. and Mrs. Be Nice to Each Other. Okay, now, if you're not familiar with this program, it's to test how much they know about each other. For example, we all know that Dave likes musical theatre, uh, he was a fan of uh, Over the Rainbow, Over the Rainbow uh, and has tickets to the first me. night show and is hoping that no. Dangerous Dave the dog will be here in his toto. <laughs> if not, he wants a full refund. <laughs> Anyways, the first round we are going to be asking June questions about Dave. Afterwards, we'll call Dave back, ask him the same questions, and see how much they actually know about each other. Now, obviously, my glamorous assistant, Julie, who was on the original show, is in the soundproof box. Julie will now leave Dave to the soundproof box, which is the highlight of her evening. Right, now Dave can't hear a word you're saying, June. So you tell us the truth. Dave, the man she has known and loved for 25 years. Okay, question one. When Dave wakes up in the morning, what does he do first? Does he put on his left sock, put on his right sock, or have a row with the postman? <laughs> So we know one thing about Dave, he sleeps sockless. <laughs> okay, question two. Dave has got a two-for-one voucher at Pizza Express. <laughs> sort of bloke he is. I want to take you out for a night of romance and fine dining. What does Dave order? Clitheroe's number one delicacy, curry sauce and chips. <laughs> Ricotta and spinach cannelloni. Sloppy Giuseppe pizza. <laughs> For those of you who want to know what sloppy Giuseppe is, Ben Thomas can show you afterwards. <laughs> um, <laughs> spicy beef and green pepper. <laughs> okay, question three. Um, and I hope the DJ is paying attention to this one. No, no, don't pay anything yet. As we all know, Dave loves driving his 1.8 litre Ford Mondeo. <laughs> Particularly when his bride-to-be is sitting in the passenger seat, serenading him with her classically trained singing voice. Which song would Dave like to hear? Anything by Erasure, Anything by Christy Burr, Anything by the Communards. <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> okay. My pen's failed, so I hope you remember these answers. Okay. Okay, now question four, and this is where we really start to find out things about Dave. Which Keira Knightley film has Dave seen far more times than is healthy for a man of his age? <laughs> the Duchess, Domino, Bend it like Becca. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't even go around. <laughs> well, I'll give you a clue. Domino is that famous blockbuster where Kira Knightley plays the actor Lawrence Harvey's socialite daughter, who's also a bounty hunter in the evening. Not that I'm helping her. Okay. And finally, this is the last question, 
Dave had elocution lessons as a child. Oh. <laughs> and they have certainly paid off. <laughs> How would Dave pronounce the following word? And I'll spell it for you. P-R-O-J-E-C-T. Okay. <laughs> Question one. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Is it <laughs> put on your left sock, put on your right sock, or have a row with the postman? <laughs> Is it one of them? <laughs> put on my right sock. Playing for a prize of an analog radio and cheese mate. <laughs> I suspect they couldn't be getting home with it anyway. It wasn't really a. <laughs> okay. Right. Question two, Dave. How many questions are there? Only five. Don't worry. How long were you in the soundproof box? <laughs> or did you just lose track of all time? <laughs> okay. Question two. You've got a two-for-one voucher at Pizza Express, and you want to take your beloved out for a night of romance and fine dining. What do you order? Is it Clitheroe's number one delicacy, curry sauce and chips, ricotta and spinach cannelloni, or a sloppy Giuseppe pizza? It would be ricotta and spinach cannelloni. <laughs> Was that hard to get in Clitheroe? <laughs> They don't do curry and chips and pizza express. To my knowledge, unless it's changed. They do if you argue. No, no, no. <laughs> Which we will do. Okay, question three. It's a toughie. You love driving your 1.8 litre Ford Mondeo. Diesel or CDI. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm my, I'm I'm my my research expense, by the way. I blame my researcher. Okay, uh, but we'll pretend it's 1.8 litre fuel guzzler. Yeah. Uh, you, you like driving that vehicle, particularly when your bride to be is sitting in the passenger seat, serenading you with her classically trained singing voice. I can see you <laughs> smiling. <laughs> yeah. Which song would you like to hear her singing? And you've got some options. Oh, good. Anything by Erasure. Anything by Christy Burr. Or anything by, by the Communards. <laughs> it's none of the above. Very good. She said you was Well, is the radio getting closer to it? <laughs> it's no, it's radio. Okay. Way, way. okay, the, the uh, fourth question. Yeah. And uh, I am sweating now. It really, like a lot of people didn't know, Dave was saying a lot of people didn't know who he was. Uh, yeah. I'm still <laughs> going to <laughs> Does he work for us? But they now know a lot more about you thanks to question four. Okay, question four. Which Kieran Knightley film have you seen far more times than is healthy for a man of your age? And the options are, and we know you do when June's yeah. out because she didn't know you'd seen it. Yet. The Duchess. Domino or bend it like Beckham? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Duchess. The Duchess. Yeah. Wait, that? Domino. I'll give you a clue. That's Domino. Domino. It's Domino. <laughs> <laughs> Domino, is that the one with the pole dance? <laughs> that's, that's the one that it might be on occasionally, but not frequently. You've been watching Domino again. You think, I don't even like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, final question, Dave. Is this one less embarrassing? No, it's not. We understand that you had elocution lessons as a child. Yes. And we can see they certainly paid off. Indeed. <laughs> How would you pronounce the following word? And I'll spell it for you. Yeah. P R O J E C T. P R O J E C T. Project. Yeah. <laughs>